Three of the main themes that I'll have on this channel is about ADHD, about mental health and self-improvement, and also jaw surgery. I need to have my face operated on for medical reasons. Here, what noise do potatoes make? Hey, how are you? A very warm welcome to the channel. My name is Cassandra and this is where I intend on posting videos about my life experiences and my lessons learned. So this is a brand new YouTube channel and a brand new venture for me. So in this video, I would just like to give you a little bit of an introduction into what the intention is for this channel, the type of content that you can expect from this channel so that you can make an informed decision about whether or not you want to subscribe and continue watching videos. So in this video, I will be covering who I am, <laughs> what this channel is for, why I've decided to post the content I've decided to post, who the videos are for, what the style of videos are going to be like, and then finally, how frequently I plan on posting. So who am I? <laughs> As I said, my name is Cassandra. And if you've made your way here from Twitter or something like that, then chances are that you will know me as Cassandra HL in the testing technology industry. This channel is not going to be anything to do with that. So if you're expecting like testing or technology content, that's not going to be it. But I hope that what is here is still of interest to you. Um, so don't go away just yet. <laughs> so yes, my name is Cassandra. I was born and raised in Scotland but for the last four four and a half years or so I have been living in Germany and I am a person who is going through a lot of stuff <laughs> like just a lot I feel like it's always just one thing after another you know like I feel like I rarely get any breathing space but essentially that's part of the reason for me starting this YouTube channel. So three of the main themes that I'll have on this channel is about ADHD. I have ADHD, about mental health and self-improvement. Again, a lot of my experiences and things that I've learned that I would like to pass on. And also jaw surgery. I need to have my face operated on for medical reasons. <laughs> And I've also made two other videos introducing those topics of ADHD and jaw surgery. So you know in more detail and um, what those things are all about. But yeah, as I say, this channel is mainly about me. <laughs> so as I say, my life experiences and lessons learned based around those main themes because I've got a lot going on and a lot of people have already reached out to me for information and advice on the things that I've shared already. And although I have written a lot of like blogs, articles and done talks in uh, my working life, um, so in the technology industry, and that has been great and I've got a lot of success from that. It's a very different type of content and it's a very different process to write things compared to making videos. They both obviously involve um, a lot of work, preparation, planning, editing and whatnot. But you know, it's, it's a different style and I think for the type of content that I want to do around these topics, video is going to be better for that. In a way, I think it will also be easier for me, although it'll still be a lot of work. And having ADHD, I need novelty. So that's, that's an additional element that um, I'm already enjoying actually. So that's why videos and not articles. I actually also, in my infinite wisdom, <laughs> have decided to start another YouTube channel, throwing myself right in here, not one but two channels. As I say, this one is going to be more about like my life and my experiences and what I can share with other people. And a lot of it is very, very heavy. It's been very difficult. It's going to be difficult. I have cried a lot. I will cry some more. And so when I was thinking about the kind of content I would post here, honestly, I thought to myself, this is going to get real f depressing real f fast. So I decided that I also needed something else to cheer me up, to not feel so down by the things that I'm going through. And I decided that I would also like to share that with you. <laughs> However, the content then is so wildly different. And initially I was like, 
well, people can be more than one thing. I'm gonna have it all on one channel. People are just gonna have to put up with it. And then I realized that as a consumer, that's not what I want. I wanna know what I'm getting from a channel and not see all this other random crap that I didn't subscribe for. So this channel is gonna be me, my experiences, my journey, stuff that you can also learn from my experiences. And then the other channel is gonna be a lot more fun. So I will put a link to the other channel and the introduction video on that one so that after you've watched all the videos here, you can go ahead and see what more fun things I have in store for you on the other channel. My target audience for videos on this channel are really people who are kind of going through similar things as I am in relation to, you know, these things that I'll be posting about, as I say, main themes of ADHD, mental health and self-improvement and jaw surgery which I know are quite specific and somehow also quite different. I guess I'll also be posting like other um, personal experience type videos along the way as well, but those will be the three main themes. So because it's for people who are kind of going through something similar or they don't even know if they're going through something similar yet, they're just in the research phase and they're trying to find their way and figure things out. This is definitely more intended to be like, again, you know, if someone was to come to me in person and ask me for advice and what's my experience like, I'm, I'm gonna just be like talking to you, human to human, person to person, just telling you what I'm going through. I'm not a doctor or any kind of medical professional. I do have half a psychology degree, <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything. So this is not intended to be any sort of like medical scientific advice or anything like that. It is just really, you know, just sharing things, just talking. It's not going to be like super well put together, <laughs> to be honest. It's not going to be like, boom, 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 here is the information, go and have a good day. Like it's definitely going to be more conversational, more kind of chit chat style, again, on that human level. Be prepared for probably unnecessarily long videos, quite a lot of rambling. But I also think and I hope that the benefit of doing videos versus articles, I hope that part of the draw to this channel and these videos will be the human side of it and like the kind of, you know, just talking about things and the, the personality and my sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, so maybe even like if you aren't going through something similar, hopefully it will still be enjoyable for you to watch. It will hopefully still be somewhat informative and a good way to understand the experiences of other people. What it's not gonna be and who it's not for is for people who don't think ADHD is real and wanna be convinced. You can go somewhere else. I'm not even gonna bother having that conversation. I'm not gonna waste my time on that. I'm gonna spend my time helping people. It's not, again, it's not for any kind of medical advice. I'm not a doctor, that's not me. I'm also not going to take like a super scientific approach and give you like lots of references and things like that. Don't get me wrong, I do a lot, a lot, a lot of research for my personal needs and my personal experiences but I don't save all the links, I don't save all the videos, I don't write down like everyone that I got the information from. And to do that would just be like prohibitively difficult. Again, especially as someone with ADHD. When I first started my tech blog, the very first post I wrote was entitled, Starting Stuff Is Hard. And that's still the f case. <laughs> I had also said in there that I'm not going to spend too much time just endlessly searching for references for the things that I say. There are a lot of really good resources that do have that approach and that do put all the resources and stuff like that. For example, for um, ADHD and mental health, how to ADHD here on YouTube is probably um, one of the best uh, resources. For ADHD, it's got a really um, nice mix of the personal and the research facts. Dr. Tracy Marks here on YouTube also posts posts excellent content. She's a psychiatrist, so all of those um, types of topics she covers. So there are resources out there that are already, you know, taking that very informative, very like, here are your references type approach. I still hope to be informative. As I say, I still have done my own research, but I'm just not going to put all the links and stuff there. And as I say, this is gonna be like more of conversational, like we're just two people, you know what I mean? Also, 
I firmly believe that people should do their own research, they should find their own sources, they should cross-reference and check. So I always feel like if people see references, then they assume that what they're currently watching or reading must be true because there are references and then they don't bother reading the references. Equally, you're not going to probably put a reference in your content that disagrees with what you've just said. So whilst I fully appreciate the value of references, of course I do, I'm not saying that they're useless, I'm just saying that like I encourage people to do their own research anyway, so whether I put the links or they go and find their own sources, I think you should do that anyway, you know? So if it's going to be prohibitive for me to add them, look, let's just, you know, do our own work. All right, let's share the burden. In regards to how often I intend on posting, when this video is released, there should also be, as I say, those two other videos introducing the topic of ADHD and also of the jaw surgery. As I say, I have a lot, a lot of ideas. I'm going through a lot of stuff and with the jaw surgery in particular, it's a very active process with lots of different stages that I hope to be keeping up with posting videos along the way so you know how that all progresses. That being said, I've got a job, okay? <laughs> I've still got a full-time job in tech. I don't plan on quitting that or reducing my hours at any point soon. So I'm completely just doing this in my free time and I'm naturally very busy with going to all these doctor's appointments and stuff like that and actually dealing with the things that I'm talking about. And at the same time, also trying not to push myself too hard and burn out because that's just all around bad. So I'm going to post when I post. <laughs> I'm going to try and, you know, post frequently enough as I say that you're kept up to date with stuff and that it kind of makes sense in my timeline of when things are happening, especially for people who know me in real life. But I'm not going to commit to anything. I'm not going to put myself under any kind of pressure to be on a schedule because for my situation, I don't think that's healthy and I want to try and be healthy. So um, I hope that's okay with you. If it's not, too bad. <laughs> so of course, to keep up to date when I do post, if this all sounds good and interesting to you, or if you haven't quite made up your mind yet and you want to see more, then please do subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you know when I release new videos. And you can also check out the other ones that should be up already. Thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below, what you think about how the style is going to be, if there are any particular videos that you are interested in seeing. Let me know about those in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, like, share, as I say, subscribe for more <laughs> and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.